Dr. Colombo, this is a, a thank you very much for good cooperation between uh, the second year between uh, Jim and CBRF. Actually, we made this in, in Cardio Alex, but this is for the here, the NGIS is the second time. Uh, can you give us an idea about uh, <clears throat> the late breaking trials of uh, uh, Jim uh, 2023? But I presented <coughs> a, a few big breaking mm. trials. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, to me, the most interesting are the ones dealing uh, uh, with uh, FFR to guide uh, complete revascularization uh, in acute coronary syndrome, ST elevation MI and uh, non-ST elevation MI that uh, really makes uh, revascularization more appropriate. Uh, the other interesting uh, area is uh, the introduction of the bioadapter, uh, which is uh, a meta stent, uh, which has uh, removable links. Uh, and uh, after a while, uh, the device uh, behaves like a bioresorbable scaffold uh, and allowing uh, vessel remodeling, uh, vasomotion, etc. And the third uh, important item is the role of drug-coated balloon. Uh, this device it, uh, started to be applied for instantary stenosis, uh, small vessels, but now they are getting into uh, regular size vessels. Uh, and uh, they are not competitor of stents, uh, but they make uh, uh, less uh, usage of very long stent, uh, less metal, uh, metal only when needed. We have uh, large randomized trials going on, uh, and next year we will have uh, additional information. Yes, you have a talk in the, in the CBRF uh, uh, group uh, uh, found, found between the foundation and GEM regarding the metal jacket uh, free. I mean that uh, you are, I know that you're in CESMO, the DCP since a long time, and you have a concept in your mind that the spot stenting and the rest of the, the vessel diffuse is, is to make it with the DCP, excluding uh, included the sections. So what do, you, what do you think in the future aspect of DCP in the field of intervention cardiology and the use of Bacritaxel and Serolomus in the, in the future? But I think a DCP in the future will acquire uh, a big position. Uh, I predict that more than 50% of the procedure will be applied uh, with DCB. Regarding the question Pacitaxel of Sirolimus, uh, I believe is still an open question. Uh, not only which uh, uh, drug, uh, but in which type of compound, because uh, there is a difference between one type of Sirolimus DCB and another type of Sirolimus DCB. Mm. So not every uh, Sirolimus DCB is uh, similar to the other, and uh, not every Paclitaxel DCB is the same. So we need, uh, at this point, uh, to be more specific and not just to say Sirolimus DCB, but put the name exactly of what type of DCB are we referring yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Actually, we have in the, in the, in the, in the last uh, in this meeting about uh, two uh, presenters, uh, Professor uh, Amr Zakin, Professor Shrifi Biltegi, about the, the cabbage, post-cabbage patients. Uh, uh, actually, uh, we give you some points and I need your opinion as well uh, regarding that if you have a degenerative softness crafts, go for the native vessels. If you have acute settings for the acute STEMI, you have to open the softness crafts. And regarding on opening softness crafts, you can use aspiration, but not to be 3A. Regarding the native uh, the softness crafts, also nowadays it's class 2B, uh, uh, to use uh, uh, the list of protection devices, uh, the filters. Uh, regarding the, the native vessels, either to coil or non-coil, the grafts, actually it's, it's debatable. It's debatable. Uh, if you have a diffuse disease of, uh, of, uh, of the lima, uh, distal, distal vessels, you not put a stent, just put uh, PTCA. Uh, my, my question to you, uh, do you think that if you have a 50% narrowing of the softness grafts, uh, as some of uh, uh, interventional cardiology pioneers say that it's it's because of remodeling you can put a stent in these softness grafts. Is it is it feasible or just 
an, a, con a concept which is, uh, but uh, um, there, there was a, a, an old paper by Stephen Ellis uh, mm. which uh, said uh, that if you have an intermediate lesion on the CSVG you should treat uh, mm. because the progression is relatively fast mm. uh, there was never a prospective study my opinion is that uh, most probably yes uh, but uh, uh, It's, it's really a, an open question. Uh, I, I think nowadays uh, the least uh, you do on a saphenous vein graph, yes, the uh, better it is. The DCP and saphenous grafts, no value. I have no experience. So uh, no DCP, no 2B3A, no, no distal protection device. Open it in, if I no, would say in distal some cases. protection in some uh, cases. Uh, uh, yeah. I think... Uh, Uh, it's not so difficult to, uh, pu to put a filter. I, I, I like to use a filter, filter if, uh, uh, if I did think in some cases in the last few years, aspiration like we do it in the artery. Yeah, yeah uh, but it, it's not 100% in some cases. I, I prefer a filter, filter than, than aspiration. Than the, than aspiration yeah. I think. Uh, so um, uh, I think it's, it's a good cooperation between the gym and uh, CV rep. I, I hope in the future we can make a more, uh, more and more, not, ju not just meetings, We can make just research, uh, we can make uh, uh, some uh, registers. Some papers, projects. Some projects, yeah, yes. Prospective uh, studies. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Uh, Thank you for this okay. opportunity. Okay. Thank Bye. you.